um, it's pretty early, not that early, it's about to be noon, and my eyes are watering because we are outside in the cold, but we got up early today to take Parker to um, the school turf, just to do some practice for football, get him out the house, um, just so he can have a good time, like some open play with his dad doing some football drills or whatever. So we just having a good time. I'm about to enjoy this Saturday. I don't know what we're gonna do next, probably get some food or something like that. I try to convince Mike to go to Creightonboro, but he not in that mood today. Um, so I'll probably go there tomorrow with my mom. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of my little baby doing what he love to do. everyone and my mom here it's everyone hey uh, hey everyone we're about to go to crate and barrel um and then probably to some other stores depending on how tired we feel after uh, crate and barrel shopping um but yeah not looking for anything in particular just browsing seeing what i can find seeing what i like so i'm gonna do a little shot with me take you guys with me so let's get started So we just finished shopping at Crate and Barrow, um, Pottery Barn, Home Sense, Home Goods. We just hit all of them. And now we about to go eat at this seafood restaurant. We just enjoying our Sunday mom and daughter time. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. 
All right, I'll show you guys the food that we're gonna get. My camera is a little crooked, but it is the next day. Um, I just finished cleaning up the kitchen. And I also just finished putting away my groceries for my Target um, grocery delivery. So I've been trying to like, do stuff different and create habits. I'm not doing a great job, um, but I do give myself some grace just because it is new to me. So I want to start like um, planning my... like meals more um during the week so i don't eat out as much or like stuff is not just like a last minute trying to think of what we're going to eat um so this morning like i did like a little template on like a google sheets or whatever um with like monday through thursday of like the meals that we're going to eat so i've like planned that and then from there i did like my order for like my target grocery delivery and I'm hoping like that will help us like just stay consistent on like eating more at home and less eating out because I feel like we eat out oftentimes um, if we feel like we don't know what we're gonna eat or if we wait last minute to kind of like figure out like the groceries you need and this, that, and the third for whatever meal that we do decide we wanna eat. So I'm trying to get away from that because we always go out to eat if that is the case or just like DoorDash something or whatever. DoorDash is getting all of our money and I'm sick of it. So I planned out our meal. I'm starting this new this week. Hopefully it works for us. And then I think on Thursday, hopefully like we have enough food for like leftovers i plan to make um a lot like when i'm making the stuff so that we have some stuff for like lunch and we have some stuff for leftovers as well so thursdays i plan to be like leftover day um and then i think i'm gonna also do like another target grocery delivery on thursdays too to kind of like plan out not all the weekend because we do go out to eat on the weekend and just kind of like just keep a little chill we order in or you know we get like chick-fil-a or something like that so i don't really know how the end of the week is going to go i'm gonna play by ear but um i do think that i'm gonna start trying to be like more intentional about the meals that we are planning to eat during the week or whatever but so for today today is monday Today I plan on doing um, chicken tacos, chicken street tacos, and I plan on making like a lot of um, chicken so that tomorrow when I'm working and when Mike's working, we can make like chicken salad, like some cob salad or whatever. Um, I'm also gonna try like, um, it's called like overnight oats or something like that I found on TikTok. I'm gonna try that out and see if I like that for like a quick breakfast. Um, and then like on Tuesday, right now I have it planned that we're gonna eat jambalaya because it's Mardi Gras. So I wanna do something like New Orleans cuisine. My father's from New Orleans um, and I love New Orleans cause that's where like half of my family is from. So I wanna dedicate that day to Mardi Gras and I wanna do jambalaya. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna make like a huge pot of that because Parker loves it, Mike loves it, I love it. We like to eat that like over and over again. So I'm gonna make some of that. And then on Wednesday, I plan on doing like a chicken sandwich. So, um, yeah, I got this in my head. Hopefully, I feel like doing it when the time comes. I plan on trying to prep a lot today, like the overnight oats. Um, I want to boil some potatoes. Mm, not boil some potatoes. I want to boil some eggs so that I can have it for breakfast. And like my cob salad. Um... And whatever I can prep today, I'm gonna try to prep today because I don't be feel like it when the time comes. I do not be in the mood, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna do that. But let me show you guys what I got in my refrigerator first because I cleaned it out. I'm gonna give you like a quick tour. I took out like a lot of the stuff that, you know, I ain't need no more, took it out. Um, and I cleaned it up to kind of like show a reflection of what we got going on for this week or whatever. So let me show you. So as you can see, it's not that much food, but I'm doing that on purpose. Like I want to see what I have and not that the refrigerator is ever full, but sometimes I feel like I buy like groceries for two weeks or so. And this thing is like, you know, a lot more um, packed than this, not necessarily too full, 
But then we go out to Chick-fil-A or we go to a restaurant or we do this and that and the food gets wasted. So I'm just kind of sick of doing that. I want to just try to do a couple days at a time, see if that works for me. And then, you know, whatever it is, it is. But if y'all have like different feedback or how you guys like grocery shop for your families, I'm really curious to know because I want to find something that works for us. So if you got something that worked for you, let me know down in the comments. I'm always interested in hearing like what other people do for like habits for like grocery shopping and things like that. So anywho, um, up here is Parker's snacks. So he got yogurt and applesauce. Right here is the chicken that I'm gonna be using today for the tacos. And then right here is some broccoli. I've been having this broccoli, so I need to use it. So that's why I put it up here. But I got some romaine hearts that I plan on cutting up for my salad. I bought some more eggs. And then I bought some pickles for our chicken sandwiches. And then some orange juice. And we already had this apple juice or whatever. And some milk. And then in this drawer right here is all like my little fresh veggies. Um, tomatoes, cilantro, garlic onion um jalapenos um and that's because i'm making pico de gallo tonight for um the tacos and then i i'm gonna also have pico de gallo for like my snack and then in here i bought some strawberries and i bought some raspberries and i also have like a lemon in case i need it um the strawberries are like me and peas snack we love strawberries and then i plan on using the raspberries for the overnight oats i'm hoping i like it um, I do not eat raspberries like that, so hopefully I don't get another allergic reaction, but um, we're going to see. And then down here is some more stuff for like breakfast. So bacon, and I'm also going to be using the bacon for um, the chicken sandwiches. Here's the sausage, turkey sausage I'm going to use for the jambalaya. And then got some bologna for Parker. Just curious to see if he'll like this. Um, Mike liked this growing up, so um, he wants him to try the bologna. Um, and then I got some lunch meat for some wraps for lunch. And of course, butter and biscuits. And then opening this up. Um, so I got some shrimp that I'm gonna be using this week for the jambalaya. Also got me a mango strawberry blend. Um, I threw away the other bag that I had got that allergic reaction from. Um, and I'm hoping like just this simple combination of mango and strawberry would suit me better. So I'm going to try that. And I had that before and it worked fine. So hopefully it's still going to work fine for me. Um, and then right here I have the chicken breast for the, um, sandwich and then I got some more chicken tenderloins just in case, you know, gotta always have some chicken on deck, period. Um, that is it. I bought some heavy whipping cream because, let me turn the camera around, but I bought some heavy whipping cream so that I can make Parker some macaroni and cheese uh, when we eat the chicken. I feel like I'd be having to cook like three, three meals, honestly, um, sometimes. Like, because my preference versus Mike preference versus Parker's preference, it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, so tonight I'm doing the street tacos and I'm gonna make Parker the chicken with the tacos and I'll probably make him some rice with that. And then like later on this week when we make the um, chicken sandwiches, Parker's not gonna eat a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna make the chicken and I'm gonna make him some macaroni and cheese. So that's why I got the heavy whipping cream. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the grocery haul. Um, I'm about to actually give you guys a mini little haul for some items I picked up yesterday when I was out with my mom. Um, it was all kitchen related, honestly, like I am trying to dedicate um, some more time to my kitchen. Like you guys know, I got the pendant lights um, and like I got my cutting boards and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to, you know, get some more stuff for my kitchen. Like I said, I still need to get the um, black knobs for the black hardware for my cabinets um i'm still looking for a runner rug and also i'm going to change out the faucet too so i just want to like kind of dedicate some time to my kitchen and kind of get those things squared away but yeah so let me show you guys what i picked up from crate and barrel and i believe it was home goods hold on all right so the first 
things I got were these Pyrex dishes. I actually got these from Target today, um, a part of my order. So I got these three, which are pretty small for my overnight um, oatmeal. Um, and then I got these for like my pico de gallo and things like that. So I'm gonna try that out. I mean, they're just Pyrex dishes, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, from Home Goods, I got another pan from Calphalone. Um, I love these pans. This is the only brand that I've been using so far. I have to, um, you know, take this stuff off and clean it. But this was $34.99, and that's about how much their um, pans usually cost, too. So I picked this one up. I'll probably use this today to make the chicken, or I may use this tomorrow to make the jambalaya. But yeah, I wanted like another pot, so that's why I got this one. And right here is a porcelain dish with a lid as you can see right here um i got this because every time i make macaroni for just the three of us i feel like i make way too much so i wanted to get like a smaller dish um to hopefully keep me on track of not making too much so i got this dish and i thought it was so cute that it came with a lid too how cute is that um and then also from home goods i picked up these measuring um glasses right here i got two of these this one is a little bit smaller and this one is the big one i mean these just are gonna always come in handy i feel like so i just wanted to pick these up and then from home goods i also found these pantry clips for like my chips and stuff like that i've been looking around for some ones i thought were really cute and i spotted these so i had to get them i wish that they had two but i only seen one so i just grabbed these ones maybe i'll find these in another home goods so yeah i thought these were cute and they're gold and then at crate and barrel um i found like some little bowls look at these right here so like you can mix like your sauces in here or like if you're prepping food you can put like your different like vegetables and stuff like that in these little dishes i thought this was cute so I picked up four of these and then I also got smaller ones too. And I got four of the smaller ones as well. And then I got some condiment um, cups right here, like for our ketchup, our mustards and things like that. I mean, I just think this stuff right here is just so cute. My mom um, has like all this stuff too. So every time I go over there and she's using it, I'd be like, mm, okay, girl, I see you. So I wanted to um, get this for myself too. So I went ahead and got these things. So that is all that I picked up yesterday. Besides these, I got these today. But that is all I picked up yesterday. Um, all the stuff is from my kitchen. Little by little, I'm definitely making this house at home with my little purchases. So this makes me happy. So this is what I got. And now I'm about to start prepping my food for tonight and like my overnight oats and stuff like that. Y'all can just follow along. All right. Bye. All right. So I just put it in this cabinet right here. So like I said, I got the Pyrex dishes right there. And then the two like little bowls and the condiment cups. And then up here is my other like tub of wear. I, I like these ones right here, but um, I need to get the bigger ones. So I'm just going to leave that little space open for the bigger ones. But yeah, that is what I got for my kitchen. Um, and I think it's going to be just so useful like in my everyday cooking. So yeah, let me get to cooking <laughs> while I'm talking about it. All right, so I finally just finished cooking the chicken um, for my street tacos and like cutting up everything I had to cut up. I feel like I've been in this kitchen for forever. Like, I'm exhausted. I just want to lay on the couch. I want to watch Genius, um, the Netflix documentary for Kanye West. But, yeah, um, hopefully the stuff that I prepped today will help me out during this week. Like, I don't feel the pressure of cooking as much. Um, I'm just trying to prep more stuff to give like myself easy access or my family easy, easy access um, when the time comes to eat or whatever. So like I said, I made the chicken um, for tonight. I prepped um, some pico de gallo. So this is for tonight as well. Um, and I plan on eating this with um, the Tostitos lime chips, y'all. Make some fresh pico de gallo and use the lime chips. I swear by it, it's so good. Oh my God. But yeah, I'm eating that for like a snack for myself. So this is my snack with some strawberries, period. 
So I cut up some fresh strawberries right here um, for me and Parker. I know that since I cut them up and I like place them, they're washed, they're ready to go. This is gonna go really quick. Like opposed to it just sitting in a container in my refrigerator. Like then we have to wash it and you know, clean it or whatever, cut it up for Parker or whatever. It's already prepped. So I know like Parker's gonna be like, mommy can I get some strawberries? And I'm gonna be like, I need some strawberries. This is gonna go in like a day. I promise you this is gonna be gone by tomorrow. So maybe now that I know like what to do, um, I can buy more strawberries because you know, I'll know I'm gonna eat them up or whatever. Um, I feel like I'm all over the place, but anywho. Yes, pico de gallo for me. And then I made some pico de gallo without onion for Mike. So this is for his tacos. And if he wants to have like the lime chips with his pico de gallo, um, I cut up some shredded lettuce for our tacos as well. And then I made some like sauce right here for our tacos. Um, and then for tomorrow with the leftover chicken that I have, I also cut up some of that romaine lettuce right here. So that is my effort of like trying to make stuff a little bit better for us. Um, tomorrow, like I said, I plan on making a jambalaya with the sausage and shrimp. That doesn't take long at all. So I don't feel like it's gonna be like a heavy burden on me like after work when I'm cooking it. Um, and like I said, we'll have like the extra chicken for like our salad for lunch and i have to make the um the oats so let me get into making the oats i don't know if you guys seen this recipe on tiktok but i heard it's really good um my sister-in-law she loves this so i'm going to try it for myself so um let me I, i'm about to tell you it but i guess i can tell you it anywho so you put the oats in the bowl you put some milk in it you put some cinnamon in it some chia seeds um vanilla abstract mm, is that it? and oats in there and then you just put the cap on it and you let it sit overnight and, and supposedly it do something for you in the morning so i'm gonna try that but let me show you guys how i'm about to make it all right so i got the stuff for the overnight oats so I got my Quaker oats, um, my organic protein. I forgot to mention that this is in there. Cinnamon, vanilla abstract, and then some chia seeds and some milk. I think people use almond milk too, but I don't have any of that. I just have this milk, so I'm gonna use this milk. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna use these like two Pyrex containers that I bought. They are like a small size. I don't eat a lot. Um, so I think this is enough for me in regards to like breakfast oats or whatever. I think this will fill me up with some water or like maybe like a smoothie or maybe like some boiled eggs or something like that um, with the oats. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use these and hope it works. Let's see. So I'm going to start by putting some oats in here. It may be too small, but whatever. We're, we're going to just test it out. Um... The next thing I'm supposed to do is put some, I think, protein powder in here. I'm not gonna put a lot because, yeah, I feel like I don't need a lot, but put some of this in there. All right, that's the protein powder. What else, what else we got? Then we got some chia seeds. I'm not gonna put a lot of these in here because I actually do not love chia seeds, so. I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon in there, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna just put that much in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some cinnamon. Come on. Come on, baby. All right. Hopefully that's good. I'm gonna throw some milk in here to fill up the oats. Mmm. Mm. I'm excited. I hope this turned out good because I'm not using a recipe like, you know, verbatim. So I'm just going off the dome, my TikTok dome. Let's see. All right, so I'm opening up the vanilla abstract. And of course, this is giving me trouble. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. Hopefully this is not too much. Vanilla is very strong, so I don't wanna do too much. 
Okay, so I'm gonna stir it up. I think that was all the ingredients. I'm gonna stir it up. Well, I'm excited about this. Oh my goodness, I hope I ain't put too much sediment in here. It's looking like a lot. If this fails, y'all know me. <laughs> Like a lot of my stuff you fell in because I'm always just trying to do my own thing. I don't be following directions. All right, so I'm stirring this up. <laughs> ah, I hope it's enough oats. I'm a geek though. Like, what if this actually? I'm gonna turn the camera up. What if this actually be giving something for me? So tomorrow I'm gonna try it. Um, you just put the cap on and you put it in your refrigerator overnight. So I'm gonna put these in my refrigerator overnight. I'm feeling accomplished, y'all. I really am. I'm about to pat myself on the back because it's giving. It's giving. All right, I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. See what's giving tomorrow, and then like tomorrow, once I open it up, I'm gonna put some fresh strawberries on one for tomorrow, and then I'll probably do some raspberries on the other one. Mm. I'm geeked. If y'all have actually tried this, let me know like how my proportions look. Like, did it look like it was given what it's supposed to give or not? Um, and if not, let me know what to do. Period. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling productive today. Just a little bit. I'm gonna give myself some credit today. All right, so I'm gonna place these in the refrigerator. Yeah, a little bit of AMSR. Um, and yeah, about to do dinner. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for right now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.